Gary and I had a little company in New Jersey with two other guys. And we were enamored with the Atari 2600. Gary had back engineered it. He had created Space Jockey. Great game. Um, we were learning the Atari 2600. In the back of the Atari games was a manual for all the games. And each manual had the four designers at Activision, the four lead designers. Dave Crane, Al Miller, Larry Kaplan, um, and Bob Whitehead. And what we did one day is we're sitting at lunch and we said, you know, we're going to be part of these guys. So we took the little manual out and Gary drew faces of the four of us. And we scotch taped it over their faces and stuck it up on the wall and said, you know, someday we're going to be with those guys. Well, a year or so later, you know, Gary does Space Jockey. We go to CES, we meet the guys, and we're like, you know, we're like fanboys. We're, we're impressed as hell. So we fly to California, get flown to California by Activision for an interview. I remember we're sitting outside their Santa Clara office, and oh my God, there's David Crane. He's coming in from lunch. There's Al Miller. And Gary looks at me and says, you want to play Al Miller in, air, in ice hockey? I said, yeah, I'd love to do that. He says, I'll tell you what, I'll set it up for you. We get into a conference room, we're sitting there waiting. In walks Alan Miller and David Crane. And we are like, just awestruck. You know, jaws hit the floor. And uh, they're very, I mean, these guys are on the Today Show. They're on the cover of magazines. This is a big story. Activision, I think at the time, was the fastest growing company ever in the U.S., you know, zero to 180 million in like two years. So these guys are celebrities, and they walk in, and we are dying. Just sitting there like, oh, God, what do we say? And we start talking to them. And to break the ice, sitting on the table is an Atari 2600. And Alan Miller had just released his game Ice Hockey. Ice Hockey by Alan Miller. It's great. Two-person ice hockey game, one player against the other, head-to-head. -head. So we go into the interview. We have the interview. We talk with the four guys that come in. We're kind of a little starstruck. And uh, Gary looks at Alan and says, uh, you know, we really liked ice hockey. As a matter of fact, Dan's pretty good at it. You, we, can you play Dan? He'd love to have the opportunity to play you in ice hockey. So Al Miller's Al's got a little bit of an ego. He says, oh, yeah. So he goes, he gets the cartridge. They bring in an Atari. They set up the VCS, plug in the cartridge, takes the joystick, slides it across the table to me. He slowly takes the cartridge, snaps it in the system, slides a joystick across, and goes, want to play? So I was not, I'm a good player, I'm a good game player, but my brother Dan is a spectacular game player. So I handed the control to Dan. I said, here, Dan. And Dan, scared as he was, played against the inventor, Al Miller, in ice hockey, and he kicked his ass. Come on, Dan, I'll play a couple of, we'll play to like, you know, a couple of points. Well, we start playing, and, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, the puck breaks, and, and I move my character up. I grab the puck, and I do this maneuver where I move up to the back behind his goal, and I flip it right in. And he kind of looked at me and kind of said, what the hell was that? And I said, uh, you know, it could be, could be a bug, Al. We, we can try it again. And so again, the puck drops, and I kind of grab it, and I kind of go up and flip it right in. And at this point, Al's getting a little, a little annoyed. He says, and he looks at Dave Crane, he says, is that a feature? Did, did we know that was in there? And the smile on my face, I mean, this was all we needed to get the respect. Dan soundly beat him, and every time Dan had a move, he did. And every time he did the move and scored, Al would lean forward and go, what did you do? What did you just do? And it was amazing to see. So Dan and uh, inevitably, I ended up beating the pants off Al Miller at his own game because I had learned this little maneuver, you know, through kind of being a game tester. You, you don't just play the game. You play the game like you're not supposed to. And I kind of learned to get up behind the, behind the goal and kind of flick the button and the joystick to the right and down at the same time and shove it right into the corner. And uh, inevitably, beat, it, uh, beat Al... Uh, I forget what it was, seven to zero or something. And uh, he put down the joystick and looked at Dave and he said, you know, we should hire these guys. And that, that, was, that was kind of the, 
the, uh, the greatest point in our meeting there. So Dan, so that was that was how our interview went at Activision was we we beat Al in ice hockey and we were in. So. <laughs>